okay this is going to be a top four stocks kind of video and you'll be especially niche towards swing trading Welcome back to the Stock Estate, everyone, where we learn how to swing trade with risk management. Okay, in this estate, our focus is actually on the learning itself and discussion will be crucial to aid you in your learning. So by the end of the video, if you have any comments on any of the four stocks or which stock are you going to pick is your favorite out of the four, please do comment down in the sections below and we can have a nice conversation about that. And while you're at it, just drop a like, okay? Okay guys, let's jump straight into the top 4 swing trade stocks for the third week of January 2021. Okay, and uh, before I start, let's talk a little bit more about this channel, okay, what the channel is about. I do tutorials, I do uh, long-term winners, I do swing trade stock picks as well as I do risk management strategies. And today's focus will be on the stock pick aspect of this channel. And about me, okay, I'm a former financial advisor. I'm currently studying real estate valuations as well as fund management and I do coach part-time. And right now I'm exploring YouTube as, you know, as a fun thing, you know, and possibly maybe could be a career in the future and because I really love creating uh, content and helping people uh, achieve their financial freedom. And the table of contents for today is uh, CLVS, uh, Dada, ERSR, then NLS. Okay, many of which uh, I really, really like, okay, out of top four out of the many, 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 many companies that I've seen through that I feel that the highest potential for a huge move uh, the next coming week. And now, before I get into it, you know, um, welcome everyone, you know, thank you for, again for watching this video, you know, and those who haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to be part of the family and for more educational content like this. And for the new subscriber, you know, I appreciate the subs, you know, and click on the notification bell, you know, to receive updates regularly. And let's start, let's go into it. The first one we're going to talk about is Clovis Oncology, ticker symbol CLVS. Okay, and this is a um, trend reversal a play, okay? And this is a micro cap company, okay? And let's take a look at the chart, okay? It's CLVS, sorry, I keep saying CVLS, okay? C LVS, Clovis Oncology. Okay, and we look at its one year chart, right? You can see it has been on a very, very steady downtrend. Okay, and um, when we talk about trend reversal plays, you want to look at three things. Okay, the first thing being, you know, firstly, uh, is it making a higher high and higher low? Okay, so let's zoom in. Okay, so it's been on a downtrend, right? Downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. Okay, but recently you can see that, oh, let's take out my doodle again, my favorite doodle. Da, da, da. Okay, you can see that it has been making a higher low and higher high. Okay, compared to the previous low and previous high. Okay, so you can see that it has been going upwards. So you can see, oh, there's a sign of a reversal of a trend. Okay, and the second part, what we are looking for, okay, is that it is going, it is breaking the trend, right? At a support area. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go and circle out all the way, right? And you can actually see, let's use a line instead. And we can see that okay, this is a very, very solid line of a support over here, okay, or support or trend line. Okay, it is really, really trading near the lows of this entire company. And we zoom out even more, right? Okay, let's go five years. Oh my god, five years. Okay, you can see that, oh, this is one of the lowest, lowest support uh, it has recently made. Okay, it's one of the lowest it has been. Okay, so you can see that there's very, very strong support that people are really not willing to go lower than this. Okay, and this is the second good point. Okay, and the third point I want to make, right? Let's go back to the one year chart. Okay, let's go back over here. The third point I want to make, we want to see very, very weak pullback. Okay, actually, on, honestly, when I see this uh, line over here, right? Uh, this is actually making a higher low. Okay, but will I buy around this area? Would you? Okay, let me give the answer is no. Okay, because what you don't want to see is a weak pullback, something like this. Okay, and you want, if you want to know why, right? Okay, um, I will be posting a video, the video title name is called uh, GLAT and uh, it is a tutorial and it's, it will be coming with a tutorial on um, trend reversal play. Okay, so if you wish to watch the tutorial aspect on why you know, I'm saying these kind of things, it will be more, more detailed explanations than that video. Okay, but for now I'm just going to skip, skim through. Okay, so right now I want to see a very nice, you know, weak downward trend, small little candles. Okay, so if it fits this criteria, right? Okay, I'll probably buy in here. Okay, then I'll set a stop loss uh, below the lows over here for its further upside. Okay, and if you zoom out, actually the upside is intense. Okay, it's immense. Okay, compared to the uh, risk of this small area over here, because it can potentially go up to here, which is $10, which is 
times two, okay, at least times two where the next resist the resistance level is, or it can go and break higher into the uh fifteen dollar seventeen dollar range, okay, compared to where is it now, okay, and the 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 loss the loss stop loss over area will be around four dollars, which is around is easily easily a one to five risk to reward ratio, so. For me right now, right, this reversal play seems like a pretty, pretty good uh, play to get into, okay? But we have to see again the, the, the price movement for the next few days. Okay, and um, the catalyst for this is actually its earnings on February 23, okay? Recently, they have been coming up with a few things. They are probably gonna have um pretty pretty good earnings, uh, and I think that will be a catalyst that we can you know uh, use to write the hype up and maybe you know take some profits right before earnings because you don't want to always you know uh chance on the fact that you know earnings might be trash and uh everything might go to shit again because earnings are always a way to you know correct things. Okay, so when it corrects, it might not correct to the way that we want to. Okay, so we have honestly we have to see the price movement until the earnings catalyst. Okay, next one we'll talk about is Dada. Okay, Dada, da 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 da. Okay, Dada stock. Okay, Dada stock. What is Dada? Okay, Dada is a, okay, it is a breakout play. It is a mid cap company of ten billion dollars. This is based in China, and this company is actually um riding the e commerce and delivery wave. Okay, it it is a it is a it is part of a group called Dada Group, and it's also um very very famed and strong in the delivery. It's a bit like the Grab, Uber Eats. Com combined with the e-commerce, uh, retail e-commerce right there in China. Okay, and the factor about this company is it has huge, huge sales growth. Okay, unlike um, uh, Clo Clover Oncology, which is not really profitable uh, yet, right? This company is, is also not profitable, okay? But he has massive, massive sales growth. Yes, you heard me right. Massive, massive sales growth. So at this company wise, right? Look at look at Dada. Okay, Dada. Okay, you can see. Oh, so what kind of play is this? Okay, as I said, this is a breakout play. Okay, this is a breakout play. So breakout plays. What we're gonna do is breakout play. I can see that you know it's coming up. Okay, although it's it's always been in the uptrend, right? Although it seems like a riding the trend kind of thing, but it always actually you know it always. Let me just draw it out. Let me just draw it out here. Okay. You can see it always consolidates around here, consolidates around here, tightens, tightens, breaks out, okay? Then after that, it, it tightens again, then it breaks out, okay? But this time it is a super overreaction. So when it, it breaks out, it normally have a huge, huge move over here, okay? And you can see, right? Let me just move my, my movement over here. Okay, let's let me draw again. Okay, again, now it's on a downtrend, okay? Downtrend over here, go up, okay? It is again forming another nice wedge over here. Okay, so it's gonna trade, 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 boom, explode up again. Okay, and the good thing about this is the trend is also in an upward trend. Okay, it's always in an upward trend, so it's a good thing. Okay, upward trend plus you know it has a tendency of historically it has been shown it has been shown that it always like to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and break out. And I can see this company you know actually uh, becoming profitable very, very fast. And because its sales growth is just whew. okay, so this might actually even be a potential you know long term uh play. But honestly, we have to see whether it's actually profitable or not. Okay, in the coming years. So yeah, so that's data for you. And yes, next one I'm gonna talk about is CRSR, which is Corsair Gaming. Okay. Corsair Gaming is another one which I think there is a lot of a massive, massive, you know, uh, hype around it. Okay, its sales are pretty good. And I think that there's a, actually a lot of um hype behind this company as well. Okay, Corsair, right? It is a breakout play. Okay, okay, it's a breakout play, which is forming a nice wedge. You know, I always like to play wedges, right? And Yes, so wedge out is my wedges are my oh my my favorite. Okay, and okay, it's a small cap of three point five billion dollars. Okay, it's lots of innovation, and it shows that they're constantly upgrading themselves. And this could lead to you know a high chance of potential catalyst coming from one of those you know innovations. Okay, so it may release a, a, a thing that oh this is well received by people. Okay, sales are massive. Okay, boom. Okay, one catalyst right there. So. What we can do, you know, as investors is, is or swing traders is we have to be had the foresight to um to see this kind of catalyst that's coming in the future. Okay, things that you know we can forecast that might come from things that have already happened. If you know what I mean. Okay, can so CRSR, okay, can see the other time actually I called this out, you know, or the quick, quick um you know, it was a mid-conviction kind of thing. Okay, it broke out actually. Okay, let's draw okay, this is the wedge I draw previously, right? It, it broke up, it broke up actually. So we're gonna look at the doodle. Okay, it broke out. Okay, then it reverses back again. So what I can see is, okay, if it touches this area again and it starts forming the wedge again, it has the potential, you know, to squeeze higher and break out once more. 
Okay, one more time again. So right now you can see that there's a lot of selling pressure to sell to 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 press this price movement back down here. Okay, and partly because of the market conditions uh, that has happened on uh, last Thursday and Friday. Okay, the market conditions was not super good, so it that also helped push the price down to this level. And but although I can see high chance of it breaking out again. Okay, and lastly we're gonna talk about NLS Nasilius 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 stock. Okay, Nasilius. And this is also a breakout play, okay, it's a micro cap company of $500 million, okay. Uh, good thing about this company, okay, it is a, it, it has the economic aspects that it has a lot of higher demand, okay. The, the, the demand for this company will actually be pushed up as, you know, as you know, if there's, if there's further lockdowns, if there is uh, further, um, people are thinking it's more unsafe to go up because NLS is actually a competitor to Peloton. Okay, Peloton, okay, so, so it sells, you know, uh, this company sells equipment, uh, for home gyms, okay, or you want if you want gyms, you know, example, you want to buy stuff for your home, right? Okay, you want to exercise at home, you want the weights, you want stuff, you want treadmills, okay? Nathalius will actually provide it for you. So in a sense, it's, it's quite similar to uh, Peloton, but not as cult like as Peloton, okay? Uh, but I, I would see this company has so much more room to grow because Peloton is already like 50, 60 billion dollar company. This is only a 500 million dollar company. And recently, if you look at its charts, right? Okay, the chart has been pretty interesting. Let's look at the one year chart. Uh, wow, okay, I really, really, honestly, I really, really, really like this chart, okay? Why? Okay, look at this, look at this, okay? Firstly, one, number one, right? Look at, look at this chart, okay? It is forming a nice little wedgie, okay? You can see, okay, a nice little wedge over here. Let me just draw, bring out my doodle. My doodle, my doodle. Okay, it's forming a nice little wedge over here. Okay, that's one, that's one. Okay, second one, right? If you look at this very closely. You look at a one-year chart. It's, look at this 100 moving average, this 100 moving average. Oof, at the start. Okay, it has a very nice downtrend, which actually follows the 20 moving average. Okay, touch down, touch, move back down, touch, move back down, up, touch down, oh, oh. Then it breaks the 20 moving average. Then now, it's starting to respect the 100 moving average. Every time it touches the 100 moving average or break below it a little bit, right, you actually bounce back. Up, touches it, bounce back, up, touches it, bounce back. Oh, and right now, right now, okay, if you zoom into the last few days, right, okay, it's it's close, close, okay, to the 100 moving average. The 100 moving average is around uh, $19, around there, $19.24, around there, okay. So as the days go by, okay, you can see that this, this 100 moving average will definitely uh, move up a little bit more like this, and it will touch points around here. Okay, can I, so I can see, you know, the buy point, right? At its buy point right now at uh, 1994, right? Honestly, it's a quite a nice entry point, okay? If you want to be a bit more cheap, right? You want to wait for it to drop to $19.80 or $0.70, can be done as well, but right now I would say it's a pretty bargain uh, area, okay, area of value, you know, to buy in. So, you know, anything happens, you know, can, you can actually ride the wave up here. Anything, if it goes back down again, honestly, you'll still be not at a loss because you are, you are buying at such an area of value, okay. Stop loss will be low, uh, the previous low or one ATR, up to you. So honestly, it's up to your own risk tolerance. And yeah, so this is another play which I think is pretty good as well, you know. And for Peloton, the news, uh, Peloton, uh, for NLS, the news-wise, right, okay, if the competition is bad, like Peloton, NLS will be cheering. Okay, and you know, that's it for today's video. You know, I hope you like this uh, top four swing trade, swing trade videos, you know, every single week, you know, and click the, the like button, you know, to uh, like the video. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell uh, if you want to hear more of my voice. Okay, it will really, really mean a lot. And I will see you again. Stop it, Stephen.